Alright guys, these will be the boxes that we'll be working on. Um, as you can see, they're not in the best of shape. I, I paid $30 for the whole lot. I was just trying to get some boxes for cheap. Cheap, if I could. I figure the way Nintendo showed this on his website. I was going to give it a shot. Then... If you look up there, see my Conker's Bed Fur Day, how it's all crinkled on the one spot. And then my smashes on one side. If this turns out a success, um, I'm going to try to work on those two. So here we go. We're going to work on Mario Kart 64 first. It's got writing on it and a sticker on it. Not too concerned about this box. I've got one on eBay for sale now. And I've also got one for myself. So we'll try this box out first. And we'll let you know what these turn out like. So. And here we go. Okay. I'll be doing the filming. Why my lovely wife's done to do the ironing. And this is what you do. You just basically you iron the box out. You want to hit it with steam so that the fibers kind of get some of the moisture back in it. Then once you do one side. You then take it and you flip it over. Now remember, I have not tried this yet. This is my first attempt. Figured I'd try it on camera with you guys. And then you see how nice and crisp it is. Alright, and then it says after that you're supposed to put a stack of books on it. So, you want to grab some books on it? We're going to use a stack of strategy guides. Because I've got an overabundance of those. And you put some heavy books on it. Um, and Tindrew said that the best bet is to leave it, leave the stack on there for 24 hours if you could. He, even he said he was impatient. He was only going to do a day. And I think he did an hour, I mean. So, I'll leave it on there for a while. We'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll see if that one works. But eventually I'm going to try each and every one of these boxes. So I'll show you guys what the end product is. And I'll be back later with the video. Alright guys. I showed you the boxes. We steamed one earlier. Then I went off camera. We steamed them all. So um, they're all sitting here underneath these books. Um, tilt the camera down real quick. Yeah. yeah, they're all sitting here underneath all my strategy guides. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uncovering them. Um, it's probably been about six hours. I think we did this. We didn't rent and ran some errands around town. Um, then I came back and took a nap. Nice long nap. So, like I said, we'll go through this. I don't know exactly where they're at in each bundle. So, we'll see what we got. Oh. First one we came across is um, the Rocket on Wheels. So, I'm not going to... Oh, I didn't realize there was inserts in this. <laughs> I'm not going to um, 
do the markers on it right now and I'm just trying to make sure that their shapes are better and from what I can tell this does look a lot better uh, I'll take my game here I'll put it in here And, I mean, look at what it turned out. I mean, that, that's a whole lot better than it was. I mean, the ironing did help on the game. A lot of these I still need the manuals too, so. But we'll go through the whole thing and we'll see. Because I'm curious to see how my Smash and my, um, Smash and my Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, but. All in all, I ain't not bad. Like I said, I paid thirty dollars for some beat up boxes, trying to flatten them out and stuff. I'm happy. This will look good on the shelf now. It's not all curled in the box, so we'll set that one off to the side, and we will find the next one. I still think there was one. Yep, there was one more. Within that. My smash box. Which was all curled up on this one side and would not would not flatten out. So well, that's a lot better. Alright, let's see here. Get my Smash Brothers. Alright. Uh Put smash in there. Close and use the manuals on them. It's always a fine line whether you tear up the box or not. Alright. Now let's see what this looks like. I might bring up a photo, but as you see, this is what the problem was earlier. It was all caved in and stuff. So it flattened it out pretty nicely. That looks a lot better than it used to. Alright, let's try to find the next one. Oh, I think I'm coming across one. We got the Bomberman box. This was in really bad shape. Look how flat it is now. This one doesn't have the insert piece, so... I pull that out, and I get the Bomberman cartridge. All right. Now, let's see here. I'll close up one of these ends. I mean, I could do like Nintendo does on his video. I might later go get some Sharpies. Because I got all the Sharpies, different colors. But, I mean, he was taking his Sharpies and along the seams here where the, you know, where the game has, um, where it was bent up. He, he's sitting there matching the colors. And if you watch his video... He did a pretty good job of re re restoring some of his boxes. I, I might do that. Honestly, what I was just trying to do was just to get him looking 
presentable in the cases again. I mean, you saw the Bomberman box before. It was in really rough shape. That's pretty decent, folks. All right, let's see what else we got. And the last one in this stack is the Mario Party 3. It's got a loose tab, but I mean, other than that, it's, it's in really good shape now. So let's see, got a fold. And put the game in. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I didn't show you guys ironing them all, but I'm going to show you what each one looks like for the severity of them. Because especially my Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was in real bad shape. And it just goes to show you, if you guys want to, you can buy some beat up boxes. And with, with a little help from an iron, you can... You can make them look pretty presentable again. Just like this. I mean, look at that. That Mario Party 3 looks a whole lot better on a shelf now. Alrighty. Where is the next game? Oh, here's the Conqueror's Bad Fur Day that was in real bad shape. One whole side of it wouldn't. And here's the side that was all. You can see where it was all bent up. Everything. So we'll fold it up. And we'll try it out. And see what it looks like in the box now. And. We need. Conkers. Put the manual in there. I think this was a retail copy or something somebody got from a video game store. But let's see, because I mean... It's a little better than it was, and it, it's not much, but I might redo this one eventually and see if I can get a little more steam into it, but that still looks pretty, it looks better than it did. Alright, I got Yoshi's Story. And that one has no insert in the middle of it. And I'm out of insert. So I'll let my wife get the insert and I'll look, up, look for another one. All right, we'll just go ahead and go to the Space Station Silicon Valley one. Oh, that one has no insert either. So, we'll build an insert real quick. If anybody's wondering where I get these protective liners or um, inserts from, I've been buying them from Trading Games down in Fenton. He sells them for a buck a piece. Um... Whenever... Whenever I did watch um, Nintendo's, uh, whenever I did watch his um, video, he did mention an online company that he uses to get them. I looked up the prices, and, and if you're here locally, like I am in Missouri, and you're there, a dollar a piece ain't bad for them. But what I was looking at. On that website, I think they rate them. 
I think they rate these as um, 57 cents a piece for the inserts. And you can get the protective covers, um, 60 of them for, or 100 of them for $60. So I, that's 60 cents a piece. So yeah, it's, that's probably where Trading Games gets is. Alrighty, folks, and the next one, Silicon Valley. It turned out nice. I mean, like I said, this is how you buy, buy boxes that aren't collector grade, and you try to make them collector grade. And And for those of you that have never put any of these together, this takes some time. It takes some patience to do these. Because if you don't do it right, you will rip it and um, it will not work. You'll have to just get another one. But get one and, and it looks nice. It looks neat. The box is so much easier than the, the inserts. Now we got two more left in the pile, and those are the two that I'm going to resell. Or if they still don't turn out right, you probably just don't throw them away. Oh, wait, bad shot. But yeah, I mean, like, look, Yoshi's story, it turned out nice. Well, the one that didn't turn out too good was Conqueror's, but hey, I can try to iron it again later. Hey, <sighs> it. This here, this this would be a video for all you guys. Is going through and showing you all my strategy guys. Like I don't even know what I got. I'm sitting here when we were um, doing this and using the strategy guides to weigh this down. I mean, this is probably half of my strategy guides. I still got another whole shelf down there I didn't even touch. All right, let's go through these two that I already have. And we'll see what they turned out like. See if I think I can sell them. Mario Party 2. It's missing a tab. You can tell where it was a retail box. But. Uh, all in all. It ain't too bad. I mean I might be able to get a couple bucks out of it. Somebody like me might want it. Somebody just putting it on their shelf. And the Mario Kart 64 is really rough. Like I said when the, when the, before I did the video, oh, we steamed it with the insert in it. <laughs> oh well. Um, but like I said before I did the video, it has writing on the front of it. Still don't know why somebody wrote five dollars and then the word me on it. That makes no sense. <coughs> but, um, all in all, like I said, this game, in, in this case, has seen, or box has seen better days. There's not much restoring here. I mean, I might try to sell it for a couple bucks. But, Hey, I didn't think it did a bad job. I mean, for boxes that didn't have any form, were all bent, were all curled up. Hey, they, they straightened out pretty nicely. I mean, let me have the whole stack. I 
I mean, everything straightened out pretty nicely. When I put them on my shelf, I put them with this label side here out. And the only one that didn't straighten up too well was the Conker's Bad Fur Day. And I, I don't know if we ironed it long enough or not. Maybe I might try it again later. I don't know. That side's really, really curved and beat up. But other than that, tell me what you guys think in the in the video. I mean, what do you think they turned out like? I mean, not bad. I mean, I could go through and maybe try to touch them up with markers. But, hey, that, that's for a later time. All right. Um, thought that was an interesting thing. So, got that out there. And maybe you guys can tell me your opinion. See what you think. Give me a like, a subscribe, and I'll hit you back again later. And as always, really thank you for watching my videos here on Retro Mikey 78. I'm going to try to come back with some more videos soon. I've also figured, while well, I've got my strategy guides out, I have a 100 strategy guide collection, just counted them, and I decided I'd do a video on what strategy guides I have. Retro Game Treasure and Video Game Monthly be coming back out again soon. So I'll keep you guys in tune, and I'll see you then. Thanks again for watching.